I'm going to take you down a little rabbit hole that will not only blow your mind, it will fundamentally change the way you view the entire economy. There are many layers, as there are with any good rabbit hole, so we will start with layer one. Layer one, who owns the corporations? When you look up shareholders of the largest corporations, you'll find that there is a short list of investment firms and holding companies that are always the biggest shareholders of these corporations. Names like Vanguard, J.P. Morgan, Merrill Lynch, BlackRock, SSGA, Fidelity, and T. Rowe are always at the top of the list. This is not surprising to most, especially with companies like BlackRock, which everyone knows owns everything. The rabbit hole really begins when you ask the question, well, who owns these investment companies? Onto layer two we go. Layer two, who owns the investment firms? We will start with BlackRock. When one thinks about who owns BlackRock, one might think it obvious that BlackRock owns BlackRock, right? Wrong. In reality, BlackRock only owns a small fraction of BlackRock. The rest is owned by other investment firms, many of which were on that short list I mentioned earlier, the biggest of which being Merrill Lynch, which is really B of A. Layer three, who owns the investment firms who own the investment firms? When you add B of A to the BlackRock tree map, this is what it looks like. You can see that many of the firms who own BlackRock also own B of A, including BlackRock, so they actually hold more of their own shares via ownership B of A. This apparent ownership is illusory, since all of the companies other than Merrill Lynch BoFA are also owned by other companies. Layer 4 and beyond the ownership of this. If you fill out the rest of the tree map at this level of ownership of BlackRock for the other investment firms, it looks like this. Now remember, this is only the breakdown of two levels of ownership for BlackRock. If you were to keep filling in levels of ownership further and further on this tree map, eventually it gets below the resolution of the screen. And this was just for one of the major investment firms on the short list, each having their own but similar tree map of ownership. So in reality, it's not just that big investment firms like BlackRock own everything, it's much, much bigger than that. There is one giant megacore built by this house of cards that truly owns everything, 